Hello and welcome back to my craft room. It's Big Fat Diary Day. <laughs> so it's Sunday morning again um, and I'm about to go into week two and I feel quite oh, um, partly excited and partly apprehensive to do my weigh-in. As I did last week I'm gonna film it with my phone and uh, a slot a slot the little piece of film in in here i say i'm 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 excited but apprehensive i think it's because i have tried really really hard to change my my lifestyle and and, every, and as well as what i'm eating and drinking this week so i'm excited because i feel like i should have done well i should have lost some weight but i'm apprehensive because if i haven't i know i'm going to be devastated because <laughs> i've tried really hard i've got this step counter now this little one is just um, eight ninety nine. I got it from Amazon, and it has made me very aware that if I don't make a point of going out and having a walk outside, I only do about five or six hundred steps in a day in my normal. If I'm not doing anything extra, like a big housework or salt out or shopping or whatever, then yeah, pottering around the house five or six hundred steps, which is nothing, is it? I've learnt a few things from recording everything. On the app the uh, the get slim app I'll, I'll leave a link to the to the sort of program that i'm using um i do like it. i've got my i've got my head around the site now there's you can you can pick and choose from all the different diet plans and things but what i'm ending up doing is kind of just basically calorie counting and recording everything i'm eating and there's a really good database you can pull from and recipes you can choose from um and you can adapt them and everything and it does make you very aware of everything that's going but I definitely think recording everything is really useful it makes you just think twice about having that little snack or, or whatever I, I cook from scratch most of the time anyway we don't have a lot of processed foods and the most processed foods would usually be things like passata you know which is just pureed tomatoes isn't it you know um, we, we don't have a lot of kind of we don't have ready meals or anything like that or so I've been cooking with just using that spray oil I've been controlling my portion sizes I've kind of tried to I mean I've, I've been counting the calories but basically I've been trying to keep them down by, by keeping low fat if I go to buy something and I'm not sure I just look to see it's not more than five percent fat I'm just having only I'm only allowing myself one slice of bread a day I'm having other carbs but bread only one slice a day I do this trick where if you toast it don't toast it too much just like toast it till it's sort of golden and then you can cut it sort of through the middle horizontally with a sharp knife and so you end up with like two thin slices instead of one fat slice of toast so you do it just with medium sliced it doesn't have to be fat it's like sort of normal medium sliced bread so I get so I can kind of it looks like a sandwich so in my mind that really helps me there's a few little tricks like that the app also allows you to record your exercise how many steps you've done how, many, how much water you're drinking and that's another thing that came up I didn't realize I'm not really unless I force myself to I'm only really having the equivalent of say six glasses of water a day and and a lot of them are in coffee so <laughs> so I'm trying to change that I'm trying to get up to the 10,000 steps a day which is the default setting although you can change that um, but I've been averaging well it's varied the most I've done is eight and a half thousand in a day um, I've done that a couple of days um, but one day only I did I didn't get out for a walk at all so yeah it was about 575 <laughs> So I will aim to, over the next two weeks, I want to get to 10,000 steps every day. Another thing that's helped has been, after the first couple of days, I started just making a note of, of foods I wish I had ready. <laughs> Certain things that, that would be, um, that would make my meals more interesting without adding calories or, you know, that kind of thing. Things that I, I just wish I had. So I started making a little shopping list. So this week, so yesterday, our shopping was delivered yesterday we have it um we have it delivered from Sainsbury's which again is quite good so I don't do any kind of browsing <laughs> buying stuff I didn't really need um so now I'll, I'll be better prepared this week I did work out what the I think last week I didn't know what BMR meant they gave me a BMR of 1456 or something like that and I I didn't know what it meant and it meant basal metabolic rate 
that is just what your body needs just to even if you just lay flat on your bed all day and did nothing else that's what it would take just to keep you ticking over so anything you do more than that is is extra calories so and I, I thought well am I supposed to be am I supposed to be consuming those calories because obviously you want to consume less calories than you're using to lose weight and I also did a bit of research so to lose a pound of weight you need to burn 3,500 calories so that's that equates to 500 every day so I need to be in a calorie deficit of 500 every day so I've upped my exercise and I've been averaging about 1200 1300 calories a day so I should have lost some weight okay I'm going to go for it now I actually really don't really don't want to do this okay let's let's go and do it let's go and do it before I start waffling again here we go oh yeah before I go in sorry I was going to do this every week as well so don't look any thinner yet obviously I don't yet but I just want to do this every week because I just think it will help me to look back through them and, and see hopefully progress well right, I'm going to go and do the way in uh, well I've lost one pound which is a bit deflating it's better than nothing or or having put on or something I just fell off the amount of effort I made that's a bit in the old days back when I still had a metabolism <laughs> if I'd have been on as a rigid as a diet as I've been on this week I would have dropped three or four pounds in the first week you know first week of first couple of weeks of a diet you always lost a lot but a pound or two a week is much more sustainable it's a gradual lifestyle change as well so I mustn't be down about it it's a start and um, and I will gradually ramp up my exercise and everything and maybe just drop I might just drop the calories down a little bit they don't actually take because I, d I chose not to follow one of the actual plans they've not told me how many calories I should be on they've told me what my BMR is so so that's it I'm going to keep this short and sweet before I go the, the most important thing is just to say thank you so much to everybody for all your supportive comments and everything I've created a room in our discord community now called big fat diary room so some of the, some of us have been sharing our ups and downs in there as well um, but just to have all of those supportive comments and to know that it seems to have really struck a chord with so many of my viewers here on on YouTube so many people feeling just the same as me I mean you know not that I'm wishing it on anybody else but it does really help to know that you're not alone with it it's not just you being some kind of greedy lazy <laughs> failure um, and just knowing whenever I've sort of been a little bit tempted to slip I've just reminded myself I'm gonna be weighing in with all my friends on YouTube on Sunday I need to I need to keep on track because and it really does help I guess in the same way as it helps when you go to a group if you if you belong to Slimming World or, or Weight Watchers or, or whatever yeah it's just it's really going to help now my friend Johnny of Just Johnny Creations I'll link to him as well he's kind of joining me in this in this journey too he doesn't look to me like he needs to lose any weight but um, he's the opposite of me he's really really tall I'm really short Johnny's really tall he has been with Slimming World for quite a while and already lost a lot of weight but he feels like he's put he's put some back on again so he wants to get back on track so he's joining me too so I think he did his he he did a video not just just after I'd done mine and kind of in response to it so if he's going to do it on a regular day it'll probably be tomorrow Monday that it, that that goes out one of the positive things I wanted to say was that what I'm what I'm trying to do is change my mindset a little bit so that rather than feeling like I'm depriving myself on this new regime punishing myself for being fat um I'm trying to think of it as it's a positive thing I'm doing myself a favor I'm I'm I'm, I'm giving myself a better life you know um so rather than think about what I'm not allowed to have I'm 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 focusing on making sure I get have enough good food rather than forcing myself to do exercise I really hate I'm going out for walks which I love I've really enjoyed getting back out out in the fresh air and stuff I wasn't doing anything like enough I'm really enjoying getting back into Beat Saber and I've still got it <laughs> 
I'll have to record that one day. And I've even been dancing like a loon in the evenings, just for, you know, I can't do it for too long because my hips and knees and things are a bit buggered these days. I'm sure they get better if I can lose a bit of weight. So I'm trying to focus on the on the positive end of it. And one of the positive things has just been connecting with so many of you over, over through this as well, you know. There's a lot of us feeling just like me and that it does help it does help to know that you've got you've got friends in it with you you know and also it's making me a little bit um doing this is making me a little bit kind of accountable as well <laughs> tip of the week <laughs> so since i had this step counter it occurred to, it occurred to me so normally when i'm cooking dinner it takes me about three quarters of an hour or an hour to cook dinner on average i, I do i cook from scratch because I, I love to cook what had become my habit was to have a have a G and T. John makes me my G and T just before he knows I'm going to come and start cooking dinner, and that's on the counter waiting for me. And I've got my iPad, and I cook the dinner. I do, and when, once it gets to the point where I've finished chopping vegetables and stuff, and I've just got to stir things or turn things around every so often, um, I just stand there sipping my G and T and watching YouTube on my iPad. Well, now I've discovered that even if I just walk on the spot. <laughs> built up a few more steps fantastic <laughs> and uh, stops me having another gnt instead so um and also another thing i've started doing is using my instant pot more so i can leave it cooking and then while it's cooking i can go and do beat saber instead of it's breaking that habit of what i do when i'm cooking dinner is have a gin and tonic or two so yeah tip of the week <laughs> and the other tip was that slicing the bread in half that's a good that's a good one just it's just um psychological tricks okay oh, i'm going to stop waffling on now um good luck to everybody else who is joining me in this journey i oh, just oh let's look at it's a new start it's a new start for all of us we're giving ourselves a new start i'm going to be a little bit more exercise more water and maybe i'll, I'll just drop the calories down a little bit this week but not too much i'm going to see if i can do it very gradually I just it needs to be maintainable so good luck to everybody else um do let me know in the comments how you're getting on or join us in the big fat diary room in uh, discord i mean you could do it in the facebook group as well but the, the facebook group is more kind of arts and crafts focus whereas discord although that's that's our core thing we have got little breakout rooms like the big fat diary room um, but you can always let me know in the comments as well. I will put my link tree in the description box of this video and in there you'll find links to our Discord community. It's all for everything is free. The Arti Fantiani group on Facebook. There's also my email. So you can always contact me there as well. So uh, yeah, let me know how you're doing. It, I think we can really help to keep each other motivated on this. And I wish every single one of you all the best with it. I, I really hope... I really hope this might you know it's going to help me for sure I really hope it will just be um, a massive bonus if it helps even one more person out there to get their lives back which is what I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm yeah I'm getting my life back okay I'm going to stop waffling now because I did say this is going to be short it's already too long when you go to enter your exercise for the day <laughs> there are various options you can choose from walking running you know housework whatever there isn't one for waffling <laughs> if there was I'd be like <laughs> okay go now have a good week good luck everybody don't forget to let me know how you're getting on and i'll see you again really soon <laughs>